Edwards and I'm a British climber. I'm going to be climbing the biggest mountain in the world, Mount Everest. I've been training for two years and I've decided that I'm finally going to take on Everest. I mean, it will definitely be quite hard and tricky along the way, but I am so excited. My dad was a mountaineer, so I really want to follow in his footsteps. I'm going to be going just before the 15th of May when the temperatures are a bit warmer and it's also right before the monsoon season, so it might get a bit wet. Um, I'm just about to show you what I'm gonna pack, so come on. Hi, um, as I told you on my last vlog, I'm gonna be climbing the biggest mountain in the world, which is Mount Everest. I'm so excited. So right now I'm just packing the night before, before I go to Lukla Airport in a few hours. I'm going to pack a sleeping bag, a helmet because I might accidentally bump my head and eyes and it's got like some quite good protection. An oxygen mask because it will get really, really hard breathing at the end and if anything slams into my face I've got protection. This is anti, anti hit glass so supposed to be able to anti hit and obviously it'll get to 30 minus 30 degrees celsius up there so i am going to pack this really warm double layered coat uh. um some of the other things i'm going to pack that i don't have on me right now because i need to loan them from the mountain shop is a, an ice axe to slam down the ice if there's anything in front of me. <clears throat> an airline clinging harness, which means like if I, if it's kind of like a lasso, you lasso it around a rock and then like you start climbing up. And then, um, and then I also need an ascender, a sun hat, knit cap and buff, ski goggles, face guard and nose guard, which I've put in here. And a head torch. And well, that's really it. See you in my next vlog, which will be on the plane in Lukla Airport. Bye! This is your captain. Please, can you fasten your seatbelts? Hey guys, I'm on a very small and scary plane to Lukla, which is my first point of call to the summit of Mount Everest up there. No, it doesn't matter. Anyway, I'm so excited. It, it's a bit of a cramped plane, as you can see. I'm having to my back I can fold it. But anyway, I'm really excited. Bye. Okay. Hey, guys. Um, we've just visited a mountain base. What's his name again? Namcha Bazaar. Okay, we've just visited Namcha Bazaar to stock up on supplies like water, food, toiletries, all that sort of stuff, like climbing gear and... Um, and we are making our way to base camp, so see you guys soon. Hey guys, this is my first proper vlog. I'm actually at the start of Everest. I mean, just making it here is a huge achievement. Some people actually die at base camp because of how treacherous the climb is. So, um, if I don't get far enough, I can still brag, like, I went to base camp on Everest. Um, it is so cold. Some people are having to put their feet inside their burning kettles, I think. Yeah, I've seen that. And there's like these small yellow tents that barely keep on any heat. Luckily, I've got my big thick layers on, so I won't get cold. Um, hey guys, I'm now at base camp with my Sherpa here. He carries all my luggage. So happy. <gasps> Um, we're 17,600 feet up. I, it took us 40 miles to trek, 40 miles from Lukla, um, to get to here over, and actually it was quite surprising because we're way in front of schedule. Um, we expected it to take us two weeks, but actually it's only take us, taken us a week and a bit to get to here, so, um... I feel like I'm I've acclimatized. It's even though it's really cold and like one of my friends lost their finger. But anyway, um, we are so excited to get to base camp number one and um, get to you soon. Bye. Hey guys, I'm now at base camp one. It is freezing. <sighs> And 
um, I'm finding it really hard to breathe, so I, I, I'm, I'm freezing. All right, I'm, I'm just frozen to the bone. Um, it, it, it's been really hard to climb from up to now, and I know it will get harder. I, it, but it was definitely worth how much I paid. I had to pay for the free. I, I had to pay for the um, this good old girl here. I had to pay for a Sherpa, that person, and I also had to pay for all my gear and um, well, and my helmet. So that that was like forty two thousand around. And but I'm very happy I bought the Sherpa um, because it without her I don't think I could make make it anymore. Bye, see. Hey guys, I'm at base camp four. I've made it halfway. I've actually had to start using my oxygen mask, but I don't find it's helping very much, but at least I have it. Some people here have died. I'm six. If it wasn't for my Sherpa, I would have probably died. My Sherpa has given me some tips how to make me warm and how to keep down body heat heat but two of my fingers have started to completely go numb and when I get home I think I might have to have them cut off but it's so worth the risk I can see what other beautiful you have bye, see you next time hey guys um, I'm now at base camp 7 I've just had to make an almost vertical climb maybe around like this anyway it was awesome most vertical and some of our teammates got really sick and one of them died which is really sad but three of them had to go back but we decided to carry on um, um, for most of the next few vlogs I will have to wear my air mask but right now I'm trying not to wear it as much Bye, see you next time. Hey guys. We are now at base camp 8. We are now. Tomorrow we will start making the almost vertical climb. It's the real distance. And if we make a mistake, we're dead. You might need this on the way. Thanks for the tip. But we hope we can make it to the summit. Um, I... I am so happy that this Sherpa is with me. If she's not been there, I'd probably been dead by base camp one or the zone, but with her help, I think I think I've made it. Soon we'll pass Green Boots, which if you don't know, is a dead body body, which is the most famous thing. But there are around three, four hundred there. So Meet you at the summit. I finally made it. I'm really weak and I hope I survived the long trek down. But I've made it to the summit of Mount Everest. Uh, I'm so proud. We I made it. it. We made it. I didn't know you could do that, Sherpa. Anyway, I hope to see you again soon. Hi, guys. I am home, home sweet home. <laughs> I am just so happy. I'm don't get don't get me wrong. I really enjoyed being with Mount Everest, but I did really miss my family and my friends. And I'm really excited to have a family movie night with hot chocolate and our favorite family movie, Harry Potter. Um it was really hard and it, it made me really sad for the people who missed that enjoyment of actually getting to the summit. I, I'm so happy my Sherpa came with me and um, I think this was a very good experience and um, I'm just so happy. I just can't explain it, it's fine words. Here's your hot chocolate, lovely. Thank you. <laughs> so good.